Hi guys, uh, Monday morning up and heading into the office. Um, the start of a very busy week. Um, it's the last week before half term, so we've got lots of things to do to get prepared for camp. Um, also, match week at all of our venues, um, which means that players play internal fixtures get just within their groups, an opportunity for them to put into practice what they've worked on throughout the week, uh, throughout the half term. Um, and then this Friday, we have fixtures under 13, under 14 and under 15, 16 against Ipswich away. Um, so myself and Sean are going to be going there, which means we have to do a little bit of um, logistics on equipment and coaches for the centres that are still running. Um, and also, as it's not really falling in line with our school holidays, uh, we're having to sort out the squads, make sure we've got enough players because some people are still at school, some have requested time off. So lots and lots to get on with, going to try and film as much as I can this week. Uh, but it is going to be really, really busy, lots of different things going on. But looking forward to another great week. Hi guys, it's Tuesday, just arriving in the office. Um, plenty to get on with today. Uh, lots going on this week. So just gonna get in, get cracked on with it. Then after school club and uh, partner club session uh, this evening. So yeah, looking forward to what should be a great day. A quick check in with Lavelle. Uh, he's been doing his kick up challenge. Um, so here you can see he's just trying to complete his um, target for the week. Um, really, really good player and uh, working really hard to continue to develop himself. Game changer! 44! Hi guys, it's Wednesday, um, just arriving at the office. Um, yesterday was quite busy in the office, just um, still sorting out the last few players for our fixtures. Um, this Friday we're playing Ipswich um, with under 13s, 14s and under 15s, 16s. Um, so I was really busy with that. Um, and then I had an uh, after school club and an evening session, so didn't get to get too much on camera yesterday, but Hopefully get back on track with that today. Um, lots to get on with in the office and then lots of sessions going on this evening. Just arriving down for our partner club in session in Hemel Hempstead. Um, just dropped off equipment at the Burko Centre and now looking forward to working with an under 11s team. Um, so yeah, should be a great evening. Hi guys, it is Thursday, um, just <clears throat> been in the office today putting the last finishing touches to our squads for tomorrow, um, also been doing some finishing touches to a presentation we're delivering tonight, um, so tonight we've got a big presentation at a club um, potentially partnering with our Wickham Centre, um, so important meeting, um, really good grassroots club, so it would be great to partner up with them. Um, and then I'll be getting up early and heading to um, the Ipswich fixture tomorrow, so I'll keep you updated with that tomorrow. Um, tonight, after this off school club, straight over to Aylesbury, it's absolutely pouring down with rain, but looking forward to some great sessions, match week. Um, small sided games as it has been all week um so yeah be re really really busy week another good day um gonna get wet tonight but hopefully there'll be some great sessions <laughs> So just on the way from Aylesbury um, to the after school session, um, no, from the after school session um, to Aylesbury, um, 
it was raining, so we were indoors, um, just watching some videos and playing some games. So a little bit of a different uh, one there. Now off to the session. Um, so it's match week this week, and something that we like to do at the end of each half term is do matches within their groups. Um, this is a chance for the players to have a little bit more freedom, and there's a little bit less co of less coaching within the games. Obviously, when we're doing topics, there's a lot of information that we want to get across uh, in our technical drills and technical exercises. Um, so there's a little bit more information given to them, and this is a chance for them to express themselves a little bit more. Um, all of the fixture, all the games that we do, we always make sure it's small sided. It doesn't matter what age group it is. We want it to be small sided, just because we want the players to get as many touches on the ball, we want high intensity, um, and we want them to be able to put into practice the little things that we work on within the the half term. Um, so that's kind of why we're doing the match week and why we do that. Um, I think also it's a good opportunity for the coaches to sit back and assess the players. We have our reports going out soon for our players, um, progress reports on how they've been getting on. So this is a good opportunity for them to make some notes and mark down uh, how they think the players are getting on, etc. So, so yeah, um, that's kind of a little bit as to why we do the match week. It's not like we invite external teams and things like that. It is all still done. Uh, within the session um, for us I think players get enough matches and different things elsewhere um, with their grassroots clubs with their school teams etc and I think for us our, our focus and importance is just purely on technical development um, um, so yeah that's what we're doing and then obviously as I mentioned earlier I'll be off um, to a meeting with a partner club um, and then up early tomorrow and uh, on the road for Ipswich um, so yeah, really looking forward to the sessions tonight in Aylesbury, um, another evening of matches. Uh, just arrived home, it's about 10.15, really, really positive and great meeting um, uh, with a possible partner club tonight. Um, it really went well, um, the things that I was offering and the things that they wanted seemed to line up. Um, they've got ex some exciting plans for what they want to do um, and I think that we can really help. So that was really good. Um, just home, got a few little bits to get on with tonight because we've got um, lots going on tomorrow. Um, but yeah, we'll keep you updated and looking forward to what should be a great day and looking forward to a great weekend. Hi guys, <clears throat> it is Friday morning, was up really early this morning. I'm just on my way on the M25 to Essex, uh, meeting up with Sean, uh, jumping into his car and then continuing the journey on to Ipswich. Um, today we under 13, under 14 and a mixed under 15, 16 fixture um, against Ipswich. Um, it's at an AstroTurf just next to Portman Road which is Ipswich's first team stadium. Um, so excellent opportunity for some of our boys, um, should, be, should be great. We always try it and um, have some fixtures um, in half terms and different times like that. This one's a little bit different because the half term is different, so some of our players have had to get the time off school. Um, <clears throat> some of our centres still running this evening. Um, Simon, he can't get to the fixture tonight, he's going to be at the Wickham Centre. Um, and then the Broadwood Centre still on. Um, Chesson not on, but Chesson players have been invited to the Broadwood Centre. So lots going on today. Um, I was supposed to have an after school club today. Luckily, the score of an inset day, so that fell quite kindly. Um, but yeah, looking forward to a good day. For us, the fixtures are just an opportunity for the players to showcase themselves. Um, the results pretty much irrelevant. Um, we're not a team, so looking for the players to show their individual ability within a team. Um, so important that they do still make good decisions. Um, try and get across to the players that if there's scouts or coaches watching you, they're not looking for players who try and do it all themselves. They're looking for players who can show their individual ability in a team-based environment. So making good decisions on the ball is key. Um, when you can express yourselves, 
but obviously the decision making is such a key aspect of going from grassroots to academy football. So yeah, looking forward to a great day. Um, and then into the weekend. Locked in store two. And the low price as well. They're still low. Plus, they're even easier to install for all you need when you need it. Get a trade lock. Well done now. So just arrived at the pitch um, next to the first team stadium, um, so it was a good journey down, uh, waiting for the players to arrive now. First up will be under 13s, then we'll have the 14s and finish off the day with the 15s, 16s. Should be a great day. Hi guys, uh, it is Sunday morning, <clears throat> so Friday, really good fixture over at Ipswich, um, it was a brilliant opportunity for the lads. Um, great exposure, um, played right in the shadow of Portman Road, so that was really good for them. Um, all age groups done really, really well. Um, <clears throat> for us, it's important to create real opportunities, and those kind of fixes are just for the boys to be able to showcase themselves. The result really is irrelevant. Um, it's not an opportunity just to put it on social media. It should be an opportunity for the players to showcase their ability in front of scouts. Um, there was some academy scouts there. I had a really good conversation with one of them for quite a while. Um, we're going to be able to take some younger age groups down to their academy training ground. Um, so that was excellent. After that, um, stayed up in Essex for the evening. Um, and then yesterday I was at Hale End watching the 7s and 8s, which was excellent. Got to watch players who have from performance, both in the 7s and the 8s, and also an under 11 who's there as well, um, taking part in a session. So really, really good day. It was raining, it was windy, it was cold, but great to see some of the boys doing so well at Cat One Club. Um, today, up, a bit of a day off really, no sessions, no matches, nothing going on. So um, just a little bit of admin stuff to go through this morning, getting ready, getting the last little bits for camp tomorrow. And then I'm off to the Arsenal uh, Crystal Palace game. So yeah, looking forward to a great day. Really has been a brilliant week, lots of different things going on. Um, so might catch up with you again once this evening after the game and then we'll be going into half term. Just arrived back from the game. I think the less spoken about, the better. Um, but been another have a great week. Looking forward to the half term. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. There was lots going on this week um, and lots more to come. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share. Uh, any help always appreciated. So, yeah, looking forward to another great week and hope you guys enjoy the video as always.